All you need is love, love. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. Good morning. There is a lot of talk going on about what's happening um, with the black man being uh, killed by the cop. And I can appreciate why people are outraged and angry. Um, you know, I, the other day I talked about feelings and the feeling of anger. Mm. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's what we do with anger. It's, it's how we react to it that's really the, the make or break who we are, what we do, what defines us. I mean, we, we have the feelings for a reason, they're telling us something. But what we do about it is the, is the defining factor. And I'm not always reacting appropriately to anger, so I'm not perfect here, and, and I can appreciate, you know, uh, what's what's going on right now. Uh, that one friend of mine had made this post. Uh, he posted a, um, a a protest picture, and it was of uh, Martin Luther King and and, uh, and 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 a group of people from that time that were protesting peacefully. And then there was a picture of uh, of, of uh, current people looting, and it says riot. And he said, before you say anything, just think about the difference in time. And I thought about that, and I'm like, well, I guess from that perspective, it's like, well, if you peacefully protest for all this, this time and these years, and yes, progress has been made, but there's still racism that exists, it's obvious, you know? And it's not even just a racism part, it's some people that, like, like I don't know the full story of what happened with that cop, but I do know that um, there's, there's like those hall monitor people that become president of an HOA, or there's that dude that became a cop that, that's power tripping, you know? There's a lot of people that power trip, and um, they use more force than is necessary. You know, their egos grow way bigger than themselves. So there's a lot more um, that's at play here than just racism, but that, you know, it exists, and how do we fix that, right? Um, what do we do about it? Like, what control do we have as individuals? Well, the only control that I'm aware of is that we have control of ourself, and that's it. So what do we do? I mean, I can, I can, I can totally respect the anger that, that's coming out of this, this, uh, this news. But what do we do about that? You know, all we need is love. Love is all you need, right? And that's hard sometimes. You know, when I've been dealing with people in my life recently um, and I get frustrated, there's, there's moments where I have to check myself. I'm like, all right, you're being a little ugly in your words. Are you coming from a place of love? And if I say no, I know that I'm not doing things the right way. So, you know, how, if racism still exists, what do we do about that? Like, what do we do? I mean, I feel like, to me, the answer is, if we can love ourselves better, more, then we can love each other more. Perception's projection, and it's hard to understand sometimes, you know? I mean, when people are power tripping, there is some serious insecurities that are coming out that you're seeing about that person. You know, it doesn't excuse their behavior whatsoever. I'm just trying to understand, like, why, why do we tick the way we do? Why do we do what we do? And social media in itself, it's like, it's this matrix of things that are real and not real and, you know, I mean, I could be on social media for an hour and it's like I physically was in one spot, but mentally I was all over the place and I'm exhausted. It can be, um, it can be tough. So yeah, you know, being in that matrix can kind of suck some energy out of you. Uh, also it affects our moods and you know, I'm learning about not only myself, but about a lot of other people. Uh, when I see people go on rants, um, expressing their emotions, you know, it's, it's an insight into them. And then if it sparks emotion in me, it allows me to have insight internally. 
So I think um, I think all I'm really saying here is um, I think love is always the answer. Sometimes it seems corny and cheesy, um, but I think the people that say that are probably lacking love for themselves and others. Um, if we have an abundance of love, I don't think I don't think that we're gonna say that it's not the answer. Love will always be the answer. So let's love ourselves more, whatever it takes. My, my journey's been a long road to, to, to find love for myself. Um, it's not always easy. What's the saying? Easier said than done. But uh, that's, that's it, man. If I can love myself more, I can love you more. So that's what I think I should focus on is the control that I have, and it's of me. So let's love each other. Let's love ourselves more so that we can love each other more, no matter what color we are. I bleed red just like you. I love me, and I love you. I want to love me more, and I want to love you more. And together, with love, we can be much more peaceful, and we can get along a lot better. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy Friday.